I'm going to walk you through various options that are available when you're printing messages in their attachments. There are various ways that you can print out your email message with its attachments. The first way is to open up the email message, click File to go to the Backstage, and click Print. Once you do this, it's going to take you into your print options. Now we can change our printer. We can go into Print Options themselves and choose what pages we want to print, how many copies we want to make, and because this email has an attachment on it, we can tell it to go ahead and print the attachment with the email. Now once you check that box and tell it to print it, it's going to remember you check that box. So the next time you go to print an email message that has attachments, it's going to do the same thing. So you want to remember, if you only want to do it this time, to come back in and uncheck the box. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to print. In order to print the attachment, it needs to open it up in the program that it's related to. So it's going to give us the you should only open attachments from a trustworthy source dialog box. So from here we'll say open because it is trustworthy. It'll open up the program long enough for it to print it out. And then it closes the program because all we told it to do was print it. So it's going to print the email and the attachment with that option. Let's go back. You can also do a right click on an email and choose quick print. When you do this, it's going to quickly print the email, and because we have the box checked, the attachment. It's not going to take us in so that we can choose any options. So if we didn't want to choose the attachment with this, we needed to unselect the box before we got to this point. Or if we wanted to print to a different printer, we wouldn't choose this option. We would do the file print. Another option for printing is to have the message highlighted and click File to go to Backstage and click Print. Now you'll notice when we came into the print options this time, we have two settings. Table style, which is going to give us a list of all of our emails if we wanted to print them out, and memo style, which is going to print out the email. The reason it gives us this table style option is because we are in the list of our emails when we said print. So it doesn't know, do we want to print the list of emails or did we want to print the email we had selected? So it's going to give us the two options. We can choose whichever one we want to do and then choose print. Now if we wanted to print just the email, we'll do memo. Let's come in and uncheck our box and tell it to print. And it just prints the email out. We can also choose multiple emails to print. So if I wanted to choose this email, use my control click and highlight multiple messages, now I can come and do file print, choose my memo style, now because I have multiple items selected, it's going to take it a little bit longer to get to the preview. So we'll click on it. I can go through and see the messages that I have highlighted and tell it to print them. Click print and it'll print out my messages. Another option that we have for printing is you don't have to print it out to paper. You could print it to a PDF if you prefer to do that. So we'll click the print button and this time we'll change it to Microsoft PDF or if you have another PDF program you can print to it as well. So I'm going to choose my PDF program, click the print button, choose where I want it to print, click the save button. Now if I come out to my desktop, double click on my PDF, there's my emails. Let's go back into Outlook. I can also print this information into OneNote if I wanted to. So I can click File, Print. Let's change this. Go to OneNote, Print. And now I can choose where I want to print it within OneNote. I'm going to give it the title Printout. I can change it to whatever I need and it's saved into my OneNote. Those are the various options that are available to you when you're printing emails from Outlook.